Невероятно красивый город у моря. А потом братья пришли. Мариуполь residents recall what the start of Russia's invasion felt like. Their words capturing the reality of war. The documentary called Mariupol Unlost Hope premiered in the US in early November in New York City. One person featured in the film is medical doctor and volunteer Jillian Zeldin, who worked for three months at refugee help centers at the Ukrainian-Polish border. She also taught members of the Ukrainian military how to help those wounded in a tactical operation. I just didn't want to stand by. And so I went and found a place to be and saw many patients. I worked under the auspices of the two Israeli uh, physicians groups that were serving there. Roman Gorodinsky helped defend Mariupol. He lost an arm and a leg in Mariupol and was captured by the Russians. Gorodinsky says he was tortured and freed in a prisoner exchange. Now he's going through rehabilitation in the U.S. I hope to be walking normally soon, and for my arm and leg to be working normally as well. Then I think I will join Ukraine's armed forces again. The documentary is based on the notes of Mariupol journalist Nadezhda Sukharukova and the diaries of Mariupol residents who lived through the first month of Russian occupation. The film, produced by the Organization of Ukrainian Producers, spotlights the truth amid all the Russian disinformation, says the film's director, Max Litvinov. The narrative that they're trying to push into Europe about how this war is just and how they have their reasons, we just knew we needed to show the truth that would stand up against all those lies. Ukrainians in the documentary said the world must know and remember what happened in Mariupol. It was important for us to let civilians to be heard. The voices of my mom and my grandma and dozens of thousands of people who survived the tragic war. Ukrainian officials say the film also shows proof of Russian war crimes. I'm sure this documentary will be used during a criminal trial in The Hague. I'll do everything to make it happen. Tell the truth about my city. This note by journalist Nadezhda Sukharukova concludes the documentary and sums up the hopes of Ukrainian survivors. For Nina Vishnyova in New York, NRI's VOA News.